Today is a super fire video. We're gonna be going through this new VHS cam plugin and showing you how to add realistic looking VHS effects to any of your footage. It's super easy, super customizable, and overall a really fun experience. But with that being said, to follow along in this video, you are going to need to buy a plugin. So if you're not interested in that, this video is probably not for you. I'll have another video linked down below where you can add CRT and VHS effects for free without buying anything all native in After Effects. It's not gonna be as customizable or as fun, but it does get the job done. But if you're someone that doesn't mind investing in some really quality plugins, this video is for you. I'll have the VHS cam plugin linked down below as well as a discount code. That way you can get $5 off your order. It'll support Fred Pele, the creator of this plugin, as well as myself. So I do appreciate it. There's a lot of super fun things to do inside of this plugin and I got some secret sauce on it. So let's get into After Effects. So here in After Effects, you can see I have the VHS cam plugin pulled up. You can see it has a really nice UI. It has these 3D cameras and you can see what it has done to our footage. Now let's go ahead and just go back and start from the beginning. That way I can show you how to use it and show you all the secret sauce and tweaking the settings to get this fully customized, really sick looking VHS effect. So if we go ahead, click back, you can see this is what our footage looked like before anything was applied. It's from the new Lil Uzi Chill Bay music video. And the way you go ahead and apply is you can see we have our footage over here called edit, and that's what we want to apply to. So go ahead and select whatever footage you have. If you have a bunch of different clips or whatever, you can go ahead and select the specific one. And if you import something after opening it, just go ahead and click refresh and it's gonna show all the new ones. And we can go ahead and click edit and then launch. So it's gonna do a few things in the background, take a second, depending on your computer. For some reason, it's been scaling my percentage down to 25. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly click fit. And then let's go back to the part of the clip that we wanted and, and kind of what I was using. So really quickly, you're gonna see that it already applies this amazing VHS effect. The preset we're using right now is broadcast one. You can go through and see all the different options. Here's broadcast two, the camcorder, camcorder two, camcorder three, point and shoot. I think he really nailed point and shoot. I love that one. Pro camcorder surveillance is like that night vision kind of like thermal look and there's thermal and then back to broadcast one. I really like broadcast two on our footage here. So this is the one I'm gonna be diving in and showing you how to tweak, but you can apply the techniques that I'm about to do to any of these presets to get it really fully customized. So there are a bunch of different buttons on the screen here, but we're just gonna work our way from the top down. So if we go to source, you can see it opens this whole new tab with a bunch of different options and it might be a little overwhelming, but I'm gonna walk you through all of them that way you can go ahead and understand what you're actually tweaking. That way you can fully customize it to exactly what you want. So the first option we have here is interlaced. And as you notice, as it goes more and more down, so it's at one and then it goes down to 0 0.75, 0 0.5 and then 0 0.25 and then even off, it just gets more and more distorted. I personally like the way the one X interlace looks and you can go ahead and play with the scale as well. You can see it will kind of add these lines here you look really closely, it might not be super easy to see on the screen recording, but you can see it adds these lines. So if you like those TV kind of interlaced lines, you can go ahead and do that. And as you change the bar, you can see it kind of changes what everything looks like as well. So I'm going to stick on the one X and then maybe bring up the interlace just a little bit, nothing crazy. This next button here, aspect ratio is a huge one. So pay attention. This is the four by three aspect ratio. So it has the black bars on the side, but you can do 16 by nine, where it's just the normal footage. Or if you want to stretch your footage, you can do 21 by nine, and then you can do one by one, which is like a more square kind of look. So I think for us and what we want is either 16 by nine or that 21 by nine. Let's go ahead and actually do that 21 by nine. I like it kind of a little stretch like that. And now under here, this is basically like, if you're familiar with Lumetri color, basically kind of like the Lumetri basics tab. So this is all gonna be depending on your footage, the brightness and everything of it. So don't just follow the exact settings I'm doing. The, the thing that's amazing about this plugin and actually fun about this plugin is you can go through and customize it. And it's kind of an experience less so than just a preset. So you can see, I'm gonna bring up the exposure a little bit just to make it a little bit brighter. You can play around with the gamma and see what that does for your footage. I'm gonna keep it right around where it's at. The shadows is just bringing up the shadows. The brights is just bringing up the brightness and then I actually want to desaturate it but you can see you can add some saturation with color or desaturate it a little bit I think this desaturated look looks really cool and then you can also play around with the chroma basically just splits the colors a little bit more and then I'm going to bring up the sharpness a little bit too it just basically makes it either 
blurrier or sharper. So then once you're done with all that, if you like the way it looks, you can click back. But if you messed up your footage and you want to like kind of reset from the default settings, you can always click this reset and that will just go ahead and give you the default settings. So let's go ahead and click black back. I like the way that looks. Now, these next two settings here, glitches and overlays, super fire that I included it. I absolutely love the customizability here. So you can go to glitches and it's a pretty fun experience. I really, really like this number two here. You can see what it does. If we turn it off, you can see it's kind of almost like the displacement. So this is like really cool. If you like those like rewind kind of lines, you can go through and play around with all the different options. The cool thing about this plugin is like, it's just fun to play around with. So, you know, part of the experience is actually downloading it and playing around and seeing what it looks like on your footage. I also really like this number six, but as you can see, there's 20 different options. I'm not going to go through every single one, but there are plenty of options to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on this number two. So we have these lines here and now you can go ahead and play around with the noise. So I think the noise kind of where I was at is a good amount, maybe a little bit less than how it was at. And then if you click this display, you can see this is like the overlay merged into the footage. So if you click it one time, it's gonna go Luma and it's gonna have these lines, which I'm not a huge fan of. And then you can also just turn it off. So you can see what it looks like off or this display. I think that's the coolest way. Then you can also add these rewind lines, which is kind of like what this overlay is doing. And I personally think that the rewind lines don't look as good as just one of these overlays. So I'm gonna turn that off. And then you can toggle on and off the edges. You can see here, it's kind of like that tape distortion from like old VHS cams. So that's a really sick option as well. And then timing is kind of just like this ghosting looking effect that kind of happens on old VHS cams. And then timing adds like this ghost looking effect. So let's go ahead and back out of that. You can always click back and then go to overlays. And this is where you can go ahead and change like these text overlays that are here. So there's a few different options you can choose from, which is really, really cool. I think, you know, different options are really nice to be able to choose from. You can see kind of animates too. So you can see these will blink, the, the numbers will count up and, and stuff like that. So if you're on a frame right now, it's not gonna move, but then when you actually go ahead and render it out, it will be moving. So it's nice that there's an animation here to see what that looks like. I like this one here and you can always change the X scale and Y scale. So you can see if you wanna bring it into frame a little bit more because it was stretched out, it was like this, it was kind of cutting out. You can choose to kind of move it in, which is a nice option and then also change the X and Y. So we're gonna move the Y up just a little bit to fit how we want. That looks good for us. And then there's a few other options here like mosaic, static, flicker, and then the Y shake. I like leaving them all on, but it's all up to you. And now with these settings, you can go through and see what the different cameras look like as well. So now it's gonna be a little bit different now that you've changed the colors. So it's always cool to like do it on one camera and then go ahead and apply and see what it looks like on other cameras as well. I still like the way it looks on broadcast too, but I think it did remove some of the settings here. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of tweak and see what we like, maybe something a little bit more interlaced like that. And now we can go ahead and if you wanna lock it in, this is where you cannot change any longer. So if you wanna, a little pro tip, if you wanna render it out first and see what it looks like over all of your footage, that's a great way to go ahead and see that because as soon as you click confirm, you're not gonna be able to go back and actually change. So you can see this clip, all these different clips of what it looks like on your footage. So we can go ahead and just render out this little section over here, just to show you what it looks like on plain footage. So if that's something you want this VHS look, then this is perfect. But now, since we didn't click confirm, we can now go through and change whatever we want to. Say if we wanted to change the camera, or the glitches, maybe we didn't want this glitch anymore, maybe we wanted this one here. You can always go through and change that. That's what I really like about it. Or like this point and shoot now looks really cool as well. So now you can go through and let's say we wanted to change our look from the broadcast two to the point and shoot. We'd go ahead and click confirm and then it would go ahead and do everything in the background. So now once it's rendered out, it does take a little bit, it's pretty intensive on your computer, but you can see how our VHS effect is going over all of this. Once we click confirm, you can close the plugin. If you close the plugin before you click confirm, it will actually remove the effect. So that is a good thing to know, especially if you spend a lot of time tweaking it. So once we click confirm, now we have it locked in, we can no longer change it, but also we can close the plugin. 
and this is looking super fire. So like I said, this is one of those plugins that you really just wanna go ahead and download and experiment with. There's not really any need for a specific tutorial. You can just go through, click around, see what looks best for your footage, and then lock it in. With all that being said, I'll have the plugin link down below. That way you guys can go ahead and experiment on your own, as well as a discount code. That way you can save $5 at checkout. It's gonna support the channel as well as Fred Pelly, the creator of this plugin. But that's all I got for guys in this one. Peace.